Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Last Import from Last Import Videos here. This is going to be the first video I put up on my channel, and it's going to be a guide of how to use mouse keys I'm on a Mac computer for those of you who want to use them while playing RuneScape. I realize that Jagex has created the activity bar, but at the same time, mouse keys is still definitely a good thing to have, and it's definitely helps you with a lot of things. For instance, um, construction, it's, it makes it a lot easier and faster using mouse keys, and it can actually provide an even easier ease of access to use with the action bar. So basically, the first thing you're gonna have to do is open the App Store, and in the top right corner up here, type in Kimo, and it's gonna come up right here. As you can see, I already have it installed. It does cost five dollars to install, but honestly, like it's five dollars. It's really not that big of a deal, and it's it's a five dollar unlimited thing. So like, once you pay five, you're done, and it really does help. I mean, I haven't found a free way of using mouse keys on a Mac, but if I do, be sure to let you guys know and try to re-update my guide. So, anyways, um, once you get this, um, you can just go ahead and exit out of the App Store. And then you want to open up your applications in Finder or, you know, if you have them in your menu bar or whatever. And then double click on Chemo. And you're going to have a menu that comes up like this. So it has two tabs, the general and the action tab. And the general tab this is just kind of basically some kind of random stuff. You can play around this to, to your liking. But here is the important part. You go to the action tab. This is how I have it set up. I haven't really seen many other people that have this application for mouse keys on Mac computers and I haven't seen their settings either so this is just kind of a per personal preference thing if you find a, a, a way to do this to where it works better for you then by all means feel free to change it up but if you want to go ahead and base your initial you know test drive of this application on my settings then feel free to do so so basically you have I think it's unlimited Obviously, it is limited by the number of keys you have on your keyboard, but I think you have unlimited types of directions you can put for each of the keys on your keyboard. So if you want to add more, just press the plus button right here. And if you want to take it away, you can press the minus button. But this is the ones I use just for RuneScape. Basically, I use my letter Q as my home base key. So basically, my I use my ring finger, but my ring finger is always going to be in the letter Q, and then from there I can do every one of the other one of these actions very easily. So basically, the, how you edit this? The first thing you do is hit the drop down menu for whatever command you want to do. Then you can hit the drop down menu right here and choose which one you wanted to do. I only use the move, click, and right click options for now, but you know you can add a double click on there for scroll or whatever you want to do. But so for the clicks, after that you really don't have anything else that you need to do for any of these. So just the same thing for these you just click uh, the down arrow click whatever and then when you come over here you have to click on you have to click on this it's gonna say something random like command shift alt tab caps lock asterisk or something stupid but basically you just click once in here and you press the letter you want to assign it to and it'll have a little pop-up thing like just like this that says whatever letter you want in this case I chose Q so then I'll just click use Q so yeah those are all for the clicks and if I come down here to the move options that I have selected, I use the W, S, E, and A keys for this. Basically, each one of these moves the mouse a little bit farther away, depending on what action I'm trying to do. So initially I had this before we had the EOC when, when it was more difficult to drop things. So if I use Q, W, and D, then it would move it just enough to drop something. Like I'll show you for instance, if I press the letter Q, which is my right click, and then W, then it would go straight to drop. So um, then I could just do that all the way down my inventory or whatever. So um, that's how that works. And then that was for W. And then for S, um, it moves it one more space farther, E one more farther, and then A one more farther. So I'll let you guys see all of the number of pixels I have for each one. This is kind of just play testing around to figure out what needed what get this back in order but yeah I use 39 60 75 and 90 so that's the basic chemo uh, commands that I have so now if we go in game basically it'll it'll go any number of spaces combination that you want it to so you're gonna start off with the letter Q and let's say I wanted to drop the seaweed as I said before I just press Q W D and it would drop the seaweed if I wasn't in player on ports which you can't drop things in but it's also useful for instance if I would use Q W D in in the situation with the seaweed where it has more than one option it would get grind but if i use q e f then that would get drop 
or I could also do QAZ and that would hit cancel. But I have the Explorer's Ring here just to give an example of that. So, I mean, you guys can obviously test around with whatever you think works for you. But, you know, if I press QW, it's going to go straight to Alchemy. Um, QE would go to Run and Replenish, and then QA would go to Cabbage Port. Now, to get to use, I would just press QWW because then that's going to jump the same amount. And then I can, but I can get to the cabbage port two different ways. If I press Q A, then it would get there. But I could also do Q W E and get there the same way. So, anyways, you guys can play around with this however you like. If this video did help you with using mouse keys, um, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe because I'm gonna begin to make a lot more videos on this channel. If I'm gonna have a lot of guides, discussions, you know, news updates, stuff like that. So. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And, you know, hit me up in game. As I said uh, at the beginning of the video, my name is Last Import. So um, you can either join my friends chat or just add me in game or whatever. That'd be cool. And, uh, yeah, this video helped you out. Please feel free to give it a like. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, so thanks for watching, guys. This is Last Import from Last Import Videos channel. And uh, peace out.